by Million Saint Hilaire and in this video we're going to show you in a few minutes how to install Mesh Central 2 on your computer. So I'm going to start from the command prompt here and create a new folder called Mesh Central 2 as an example, any folder name will do. And I'm going to enter here and type npm install Mesh Central. And in order for the npm command to be on your computer, you need to install Node. And so on Windows, you go to nodejs.org, you download uh, the installer for that, and you'll have npm on your computer. On Linux, Node comes with a lot of uh, Linux distributions, so you may have it already installed. Uh, if not, it's often easy to find in instructions on how to install Node on your computer. So once you're done, I am now going to go into the node modules and I am going to type node mesh central and this will run mesh central and basically that's it except that the first time you run mesh central I want you to do type uh, minus minus cert and the name of the computer that you're on uh, or the IP address of that computer and that is the name or IP address that other computers can use to to connect to this computer. So in my case, I'm going to use devbox.mesh.meshcentral.com. That's the name of my computer. Now, once I run that, the first time you run, it will create a set of certificates with that name in there. So it will take about uh, maybe 30 seconds for that to be done. And once that's done, you'll have Mesh Central running for the first time. And there it is. So Mesh Central will use three ports. Uh, the first one is a redirection port, usually on port 80. Uh, in my case, IIS is running uh, on my, my computer here, so uh, 81 is used for the redirection port. And all that means is that when you hit that port with the browser, it redirects users to 443. That's all. Uh, 443 is the main port. That's what you're going to use for uh, logging in and doing all the control and everything. And then there's an Another port that you can optionally use, which is 4433 by default, and that is the Intel AMT MPS port. So that's an advanced usage. We'll, we'll see that uh, in a later video. But for now, what I'm going to do is type localhost, and I'm going to type port 81, and you'll see that as soon as I do that, it redirected me to HTTPS port 443, and the certificate that you receive on the browser is not valid. And that's expected because you uh, create an invalid certificate uh, during this step. Uh, but it's OK. You can just ignore that and say OK. And now you're in the login portal. Now, if you want to fix the HTTPS thing, what you can do is uh, download this root certificate at this link at the bottom right of the page, install that in your browser, and then uh, your browser will accept the uh, the certificate of your server every time. So that's that's a way to get the server running in a private environment. Now, if you're going to run this uh, big uh, for a lot of public people to use, you want to change the HTTPS certificate of the server to an official one um, from a trusted authority. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, you'll notice that the server said server has no users next new account will be the server will, will be the server administrator so uh, what you want to do is not uh, linger around here create an account right away and I'm going to create an account with username admin and um, and in my case here I'm just going to enter a a a it's a weak password but just for demo purposes I'm going to create a, an administrator user with these things I'm going to say okay and there you go I'm logged in as admin with my new account. Uh, by the way, if, if you want, you can say Control C on the server. You'll notice the server is now disconnected on the browser. And then I can rerun Mesh Central the next time. I don't have to type the search uh, thing. I just type Node Mesh Central, boom, and I'm running. And then if I reconnect, you can see I have the, uh, the login portal again. And this time I can go ahead and type admin and my password, and I am logged in. Uh, one final note I want to talk about on the login is that if you're using the server for small testing and so on, one thing, it's, it can be annoying to log in all the time. So what you can do is do dash dash user uh, admin, for example, or whatever your account name is, say run. And then when you run that, you'll always be logged in uh, to the website. So you, there's no more login page. Uh, 
this user will always be logged in as soon as you you hit the website. So that's good for for debugging and and, and um, for small private servers where you want to skip the login entirely. Okay, so now you're inside you're inside Mesh Central. You are ready to go. Uh, we're going to go into details of the different usages and things you can do on Mesh Central in more vid videos. But for now, I want to show two different features. One is the My Files. This is a way to store files on your server. So I can, for example, drag and drop files onto here and they would be uploaded to the server. So it's like a, a cloud um, server storage um, you know, that's available on your server, so that's kind of convenient. And you can click on the file to download the file back. The other thing I want to talk about is how to create a mesh. You uh, go into my account, create a mesh, uh, for example, test mesh. This is a grouping of computers you're going to take over remotely. And once you've created the mesh, you go to my devices. You'll see there's no devices right now, but when you click add agent, you can download these two files, install these two files on any computer uh, on your network, and you'll be able to remotely control that, those computers. So I'm going to go ahead and download these two files now, one and two. The first one is the agent executable itself. The second one is a policy file that uh, tells the agent where to connect and, um, and what account uh, it must be associated with. So now that I have those two files downloaded, they're in my download folder right here. Um, what I can do is run the agent. I'm going to run it as administrator because it does require administrator access. You click install and not even a second later, my computer just popped up here. Now, normally, now I, I just installed this agent on my own computer, the same computer that runs the server. Uh, but normally you would go and grab those two files, put them on a USB key, putting a shared drive and install it on lots of other computers around on your network. Now, as you do that, those networks, those computers will pop up on the uh, form here. You can click on it, change the computer icon if you like. You can change the computer name, take a look at when the computer has been running. You can click desktop, which is probably the most important feature, allows you to take over the, the remote desktop of that computer from the web page. This is like really magical and no plugin required. Just you, you can move the mouse, take type keyboard, uh, go full screen if you want, and basically take over a computer remotely over the internet. So really amazing. Also uh, remote terminal, if you want to uh, access DOS or Linux terminal and uh, remote file system, access the files remotely. And we also have a console that we use for debugging, but that's it for now. This is your first introduction to installing Mesh Central 2 on your own server and getting up and running. Thank you very much. Have a great day.